All right, good morning, ZTR fam. Out here with the dogs. Enjoying in this Sunday morning. Let me show you who we got today. We got a little, uh, a little appetite back here. A little sweetheart. Something real special. <clears throat> it was meant to keep her. I'm about to show it to y'all. Uh, whenever she come back around, I'll hold on, let she go. <laughs> I'll just give you a hint. That's... Uh, that's a puppy from one of my two favorite dogs, the female Vegas, and of course Alessio. That's uh, that's the little little girl. Just had. Then we got we got everybody's favorite Frenchies, Moo Moo and Roddy. What's up, baby? I'll pick you up, huh? Would would pick up, but I got my coffee in my hand. Uh, my dog cap. <laughs> Uh, she want to get up here. Let me see if I can get her. I guess I'm just going to have to drink dog coffee. Ah, get back. Come here, baby. She is really stop. There she go. Ah, stop. Stop, my boy. There she is. Yes, she got a tail. It's my girl. We're going to call her, like her sister name is, O.C. We're going to call her Acapella. Acapella. I know that's a long name. Look at this energy she got. Good God. We had now. Uh, I hadn't got the rest of the name yet but that's acapella then over here diesel over there chewing the ball yeah my grass need to be cut we'll get there we ain't worried about that right now on sunday so we got diesel over there munching these these okay we ain't gonna pay these two down here boys just cutting up Roddy, what you doing anyways all right so let's talk about it. let's talk about our prices our prices on the dogs Real simple, so I'll put that on the on the, the thumb bait, not the, the, the thumbnail prices. Of course, I'm not gonna even say that. All right, so real simple, man. Prices are three K no rights, three and a half full rights. Okay, real simple. That's three thousand no rights, meaning you don't get to breed your dog and register the puppies with the AKC, and then three and a half thousand, three thousand five hundred full breeding rights. I mean, you can do whatever you want to with that dog. Um, first dog will have ZTR's name on the end of it. Then after that, you can call it what you want to. You'll just have our blood in y'all's yard. Uh, what else? So, there are instances where the price goes up to 4000 or 4500 In those in those particular uh, situations, that's when, of course, if somebody, let's see, somebody, we have this option called pick of the litter, not first pick, pick of the litter. I'm trying to do this with this puppy. She gonna want to get down there. <clears throat> pick of the litter. So pick of the litter means that for an extra thousand dollars, you can come in and pick whatever puppy you want. Uh, after that, pick of the litter, the deposit is made. Nobody can outbid you. Uh, but you want to get out and move. You go. Y'all missed it. All right, she gone. Well, these are what's looking. Wow. Oh, never mind. Okay, I got plenty of time. Okay. So, pick of the litter again is the... When somebody gets... When somebody wants to get whatever dog they want to in the litter, they pay an extra thousand dollars and they get whatever puppy they want for the gender specified that they want. Look at this. See how she just walk away? <laughs> Y'all getting scared. Uh, good show. Good show. That puppy is okay. She tell me. <laughs> her big sister got her last night because she was trying to eat her food. But dog, a puppy got to be in a puppy's place, right? Just like a kid. Can't be eating out of grown dog's bowls. But anyway, look at that tail. She okay. She is okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to get to the point in a minute. Besides, I think uh, YouTube, YouTube likes them eight minute videos plus so the numbers can go up. The short videos don't get no action. Uh, so if my, if my videos start to get longer, then y'all know why. <clears throat> um, but once that deposit is made, um, I don't auction off that <clears throat> that position, that pick it a little position. So it's one for a female, one for a male. And they usually about 90% of the time, like I tell everybody that I talk to, that um, option does happen pretty much every letter. All right. So, 
The next step, uh, the next position is first pick. First pick is when it's so all our deposit, all our picks, all of our pick orders are based on uh, deposit date. So if you put your deposit down in January and somebody else put their deposit down in February, you would get a pick before them. <clears throat> so and then somebody in March will be third, yada yada yada. So if it's five puppies. First pick is January, second pick is February. That's why I encourage you to put your money down uh, as soon as possible if you think you want to get something from us. That way, if you put a dog, put deposit down six months ago, it's a good chance that you're going to get uh, a dog before, or you'll get a pick before anybody else in the letter. Look, this is a good picture. Yeah, can't see it because it's signed. It's a good chance that you'll get a, you'll, uh, get a pick before anybody else. Um, um, people like to tend to wait until the last minute to get a dog, uh, which is cool. But for whatever reason, case I, I don't know why it is. Uh, maybe they want to, you know, want to have a chance to uh, uh, see if they can get a dog somewhere else or whatnot. But people like to wait until the last minute to try and get a dog, and it, oftentimes people are not happy with a pick order, uh, their number in the pick order, so they end up either uh, going to another litter or when I say another litter, I'm talking about a litter, not kennel, because we do not give no refunds. So remember this, there's no refunds from this day on. There are no refunds. Once you put your deposit down with us, uh, it's stuck with us until you get a puppy. Uh, we are not a bank. We ain't gaining interest on your money. I'm not just holding it. That money is used strictly for the kennel to, uh, to, to house and breed these dogs. We don't use any money out of our pockets just for these dogs. So once you make that decision, and I always encourage you to go look at other people, go on Facebook, go to other YouTube channels and look at their dogs and decide if you want to get something there. Because once you with us, it's blood. We family. All right. So, uh, of course, so I talked about pick of the litter. Remember these two terms, pick of the litter and uh, uh, first pick. Uh, yeah, first pick. Those are two different things. Pick of the litter costs money. First pick is based on the time that you put your deposit down. Now, our deposits are only $300 for any regular pick based on the date that you put your, do your deposit down. And it's um, $1,000 if you want to get the uh, the pick of the litter option. Uh, so I hope that's, that's easily understood. If not, you can always hit me up. One thing I do is when you're talking to me, we make that, that first initial call. I'll give you... Um, when we get off the phone, or before we get off the phone, I ask you for your email, and then from the, in that email, I send you um, a Word document or a PDF file that shows everything on how we do it. So there's no there are no surprises uh, when it time when it comes time to pick up your puppy, when it comes time to pick your puppy. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, and I, I learned that from uh, previous lessons. Sometimes you got to write stuff down to make sure uh, so people can't say that you didn't tell them. <clears throat> I love y'all. So this ain't one of them things. It's, it's not a, it's not no anger in this. It's nothing. But I'm just trying to explain how we do things. And I, I like to keep stuff easy and flowing well. So I'm just kind of. Girl, you, she done took my damn. Never mind. I ain't even worry about it. Roddy. She got one of my car parts in her mouth. Um. So let me see what else. What else is something that comes up all the time? So yeah, I, I send you that email, and that email I have all those uh, documents, all those, all of that information. They come in like bullet points. All that information of everything on how we do it and what to expect from the kennel, uh, time frames, and all that type of stuff. Uh, of course, the people that's already bought with us, uh, they know that about. So you put your deposit down. Um, once I determine who all is in the litter. I'll let those individuals know at about three weeks. I give you the warning to let you know that the, at five weeks is when the, the dog has to be paid in full. Reason for being because people have have backed out at the last minute. That happens. Uh, and we got to have time to be able to move the dog on to a next little. Uh, not to a next little, but a next person. The next person that um, uh, wants to get a puppy out of that, that litter. Uh, so the, the puppy has to be paid in full uh, by the time it's five weeks old. The puppy will come with, uh, excuse me, seven weeks. You'll make your picks. Uh, 
And then at eight weeks, it'd be time for you to pick up your puppy. The puppy, uh, when you get the puppy, it'd be time for you to uh, go ahead and have the puppy uh, checked. Um, you get, if you pick it up during the week, when I say checks, I'm talking about veterinary checks. So if you pick up the puppy during the week, then you got 24 hours to get that puppy checked out. If you pick up that puppy um, on the weekend, I give you 72 hours. So you have to get it done that following Monday, uh, perhaps maybe that, that Tuesday to get that dog checked out to make sure we didn't give you that dog with any any uh, any kind of viruses or nothing, you know, some of that stuff, uh, one of these major chemicals we passing around out here. We got papers, <laughs> we got proof. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else, man? Uh, yeah, yeah. So in eight weeks, you pick it up. Um, you got 72, 24 to 72 hours to get that dog checked out. And then after that, if it's any kind of hereditary diseases up to six months that's wrong with that puppy, uh, then we'll take care of it from there. Uh, we're not going to leave you hanging. I'm not out here trying to hustle folks and get their money and run off, man. That's one thing about it. Uh, let me see. Uh, but... If your dog catches parvo or any other kind of viruses after that that checkup is on you because at that point you got the dog you got the dog from us you had it checked out like we had you uh, we wanted you to your vet checked his heart the vet checked to uh, make sure it didn't have any illnesses or any worms anything like that it's on you after that for anything that's not hereditary if it's hereditary up to about six months we'll take care of you other than that. Uh, I don't want to say you on your own because I don't do people like that, but uh, for the most part, you on your own. Uh, but I help you get through it mentally. Uh, let's see. So we talked about that process, that process. What else? 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 Man, I think that is it. <laughs> the dog going to be tough. She keep getting beat up by uh, Moo Moo Right. Uh, what else? What else? So you know, like I said, pick it a litter. At first pick is two different things. They're not the same thing. Pick it a litter costs an extra thousand dollars. And I just thought of something else to talk about. First pick, second pick, third pick, all those are grouped together and it's based solely on your deposit date. Now, the other thing, let's talk about the trump card. You wanna get back up here? Yeah. Hey, baby. All right. So the other thing uh, is the trump card. So every card game has a trump card in it, right? All right. And in this situation, the trump card or the ace is me. If I want something out of that litter, I got every right to get that dog first, all right? And so what that does is, is it moves everybody else to the left. So meaning that first pick, if you had first pick and you paid uh, for first pick based on date, you would now become second pick. If you had pick of the letter, you would now be moved to uh, uh, first pick position, which still you get any dog in the litter because you essentially got the first pick, right? But you just paid for it, and it wasn't based on your deposit date. She getting hot because it's that that sun is hitting in that black coat. Um, so everybody essentially gets moved to the left. The last guy, last gal in the litter. Oh yeah, point it back now. Look at more. All right, baby. All right, so the last guy or the last girl in the litter will essentially get put out of the litter, but get moved to another litter. Um, it happens, um, and I don't know what to tell you, man. That's just how it is, because it's like, like I said, y'all heard me say it before, man. I give every one of these dogs. Y'all came to, first off, you came to this kennel because of what you seen, not because of what they had on their paperwork, yada, yada, yada. <sighs> What are you doing? Like I said, y'all y'all came to this y'all came to this kennel because of what they had on their paper, because of what you seen and not what you uh, seen on their paperwork or heard they got on their paperwork or where you think they come from or whatnot. Um, so um, you get to at that point you get to yeah. Uh, God dang it! What are you doing? Well, y'all can be distracting sometimes. All right, Tanel made me forget what I was going to tell you. Let me see what was I talking about. Um, yeah, so we don't have to, man, we don't have to, uh, I don't have to sell these dogs. I made a, I made an investment 
a long time ago. And these dogs and puppies are, are pets to us that we benefit from that help us make a little extra money. Um, we're not in it to be trying to say that we are, uh, are the best and all that, yada, 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 man. It's just, if, if y'all want a good Rottweiler <clears throat> from somebody that you can trust, this is the place that you can get it from. Um, I'm not really trying to impress you or trying to sell you a dog. The dog sell itself, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, people hear me say that a lot of times. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, that's all I got. I'm out here enjoying the puppies, man, and the dogs. Um, Y'all seen Acapella? Uh, that name has a meaning behind it. Uh, she was the only one in the litter, uh, other than the other puppy that died. Um, so we call her Acapella. Uh, and then, um, man, that's it. I gotta get up, start getting around and go get some dog food. Then I gotta go back there and start digging some holes to make a, to put some fences up, paint a fence. Uh, a lot, gotta go spray some dang on. I gotta go fix some water faucets. I got a couple dogs back there keep breaking down their water, their water lines. They got automatic run water that runs underground into their kennel. And uh, a couple of them keep breaking it up, so I got to go reinforce that so they don't, uh, so they can't keep breaking them. I got a lot to do. It's not that early. I'm kind of woke up late. But man, if y'all got any questions, I probably answer more phone calls than I should, <laughs> and talk longer than I should. But I appreciate y'all. Uh, you could easily go buy somewhere from some, uh, go buy a dog from some, from some anybody else, but y'all. Y'all continue to come with us. And I appreciate the, the common folk that always keep coming in the comments and, and liking it and sharing our stuff, man. Until next time. Roddy, come here. Come here, Roddy. Tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Man, y'all, your friendship will change your life. Come here. Come here, Roddy. Come on. Look at that. That's my baby right there. This dog <laughs> loves me. Roddy. Roddy. This is like, if you like an athletic dog, a dog that can really move and do some stuff and have a good look to him. Like, pit bulls would be perfect, right? But don't nobody like pit bulls. I ain't gonna say that. I love pit bulls. But most of America has put this negative connotation on pit bulls. This is about the closest thing you can get. This is a, this is pretty much, uh, when I say pit bull, I'm talking about this kind of style of the dog. The coat length, the face length, something like that. Uh, but... Nobody feels threatened by these because they're so small and they're innocent. They the same way you can raise a pit bull to be the same way our friendship to be just as violent as what y'all think pit bulls are. But uh, uh, nobody feels threatened. Nobody feels threatened by by that. Even bullies get a bad name, and that right there doesn't. So they would change your life. They're good looking dogs. They fun dogs. Uh, that's all I got, y'all. Till next time. Say bye. CTR.